now again we are having a very important result okay for the inverse part although you are already aware for this result in the transpose okay we have done in the transpose that transpose of this side left hand side similarly we written transpose of ab is equal to transpose of b multiplied by transpose of a now we are in the inverse so what our theorem says if a and b are invertible matrices of order n then show that ab is invertible okay first of all we have to show that ab is invertible and when ab is invertible then ab inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse okay and <clears throat> this is a very important result i am just going to write something here and this is ab inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse and sometimes it is also called it is so called it is called reversal law of inverse reversal reversal law of of inverse of product of matrices okay so this is also called this thing now let's prove it now let's prove it now it is already given that a and b are invertible okay so a and b are invertible matrices now this is given this is given to us a and b are invertible matrices then when a and b are invertible matrices we can say a inverse and b inverse exists a inverse and b inverse exists when a and b are uh, invertible matrices then what we can write it we can write it now therefore a with a inverse is equal to a inverse with a is equal to identity matrix and and we can write it b with b inverse is equal to b inverse b is equal to identity matrix okay so we can write it when it is already given in the statement that in the theorem that a and b are invertible matrices when a and b are invertible then we can write with this condition hence ab is defined okay when a and b are invertible we can say we have defined ab okay so we can write it hence ab is defined okay hence ab is defined now now what we are having determinant of ab is equal to determinant of a with de determinant of b and this is not equal to zero because a and b are invertible reason because a and b are invertible okay because a and b are invertible now this shows what neither of a and neither of b are zero okay so we can write determinant of a is not equal to zero determinant of b is not equal to zero okay so this shows ab is invertible therefore ab is invertible and when ab is invertible then inverse of ab exists then inverse of ab exists okay so this was first of all very simple thing we have done that ab is invertible okay now we are having now according to the definition we are suppose we are having pq is equal to qr is equal to in okay by by definition of inverse by definition of inverse and pq and p and q are square matrices okay p and q are square non singular matrix 
is it clear now let p is equal to ab and q is equal to b inverse a inverse okay p is equal to ab and q is equal to b inverse a inverse now we are having ab with b inverse a inverse is equal to now ab with b inverse a inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse with ab okay according to the definition and this is equal to what this is equal to i now let's move with the left hand side first okay now left hand side left hand side what we are having ab ab with b inverse a inverse now this can be written as a b b inverse a inverse further this can be written as a with i n with a inverse and this is equal to a a inverse and this is equal to i n okay now what the conditions we have used b b inverse is equal to i n and a i n is equal to a okay or or you can say or i n with a inverse is equal to a inverse so we have used these things this one okay so left hand side is equal to i n now for the right hand side right hand side is b inverse a inverse with ab is equal to b inverse a inverse a with b this is equal to b inverse i n with b and this is equal to b inverse b and again this is equal to i n okay so now from this part what we are getting that pq is equal to qr is equal to i n okay hence when p and q it means p is the inverse of q or q is the inverse of p okay so we can write it hence p inverse is equal to q or or we can say ab inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse so this is proved okay so a very nice nice theorem and easily we can go through the concept and we will be having number of questions we are going to solve number of questions based on this result okay we are these are we are having a very important questions on these results okay